Hello everybody, this is Theron. We are in the snapshot tour world here. Ooh, gargantuan leg spike. Uh, but we're going to do uh, a little Minecraft science. Wow, look at that. So, it's been the case pretty much since the 1.9 snapshot started coming out that entering the nether gets you a huge lag spike. I mean, I'm, I've been in here for 20, 30 seconds now, and I'm still, like, oscillating between 15 and 1 frames per second. Goodness. There's a ghast out there. Uh... So, they didn't release a snapshot last week. I am playing 15W49B. So they didn't release a week 48 snapshot. Whoa. Um, oh, 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 oh. oh, let's go see if we got something there. Oh, there's another one goodness anyway so um they didn't do a 48 snapshot they released 49a yesterday but it had some problems it kept crashing and i'll show you where it was crashing consistently for me and we got one is that yes yes we got a guest here oh very exciting nice Oh, we like the gas tears. Okay. Oh, and listen, um, experience ball. Listen, they changed all the sounds. Anyway, um, the Nether's become a fairly dangerous place with 1.9, and the uh, the performance issues haven't helped at all. So. Dinnerbone tweeted last week, I think, that even though 1.9 is feature complete, they don't expect to release this year um, because they're working on improvements. And that makes perfect sense because there's a lot of performance issues that need to be addressed. The last few versions have been borderline unplayable. And 49A crashed frequently enough that um, I just I wasn't playing it. And even here, just moving around in the nether, I mean, I'm getting these little frame drops that are, it's very, it's painful. So, oops. And it makes playing a little bit difficult. Magma cube, like that. What's going on here? I'll take the magma cream. Goodness, it seems like moving to a place, it seems like they're chunk loading issues. But turn your, I'm all turned around now. I'm not, I think this is the way. So I built this. This little new new uh another fortress that was not connected to the old one. Oh, I haven't lit up this uh hallway here let's do this we want to minimize our spawns here at least for the time being until we turn this into a wither farm it's gonna dead end isn't it okay Oh, that's just so painful. So, I didn't want to spend too much time here, but I just wanted to show you a spot where consistently when I walked there, it, the game would crash on me. Like, reliably. I think it was over here. Big magma slime. Or magma cube. Oh. 
So the, the nether has become a little bit more dangerous because of the area effect on your sword. Ow. Ah. Um, so I was trying to take out a wither skeleton and uh, Pigman was standing a little bit closer and in previous versions of the game it would not have been a problem. But the area effect got the pig man too. He got angry at me and it was uh, unpleasant. Shoot, like here, here, here. See? <sighs> Ooh. Goodness. Hey, piggy. So you have to be extra careful. And I, ooh, oh, like that. Okay, so I'm going to call the uh, 49B snapshot unstable still. Okay, so let me show you something. This is actually convenient. Woohoo. Okay, so one thing that seems to have helped is to up the amount of RAM associated with Java before running because I was getting to points where my frame rate would drop to zero and it wouldn't go anywhere and I couldn't it wouldn't update for like 10 20 seconds and I had to wait just to move a little bit and then it would go back to zero and I pulled up the F3 screen and the game is completely out of RAM so if you come here and, and of course you have a you know your snapshot uh, profile and you come in here and say edit profile and you go down to the bottom with JVM arguments and this is what you want to add XMX and then some number so I'm going to give it four gigs of RAM this is a 64-bit machine 64-bit Java so I can actually do that 32-bit Java max out at, at two gigs I believe but do that you can also put in a uh, XMX or S or M, I think it's MS and I, you can say 2 gig and that'll start with that much memory but if you don't do that it's fine it'll just allocate memory it needs to up until you get to this amount by default this is 1 gig so uh, by giving it more memory you give it more resources and it has to do less swapping and whatnot. so hang on a second let's see if this helps at all no, it does not help. Okay, something's wrong. And I'm glad I have a backup. Let's just say that. Okay, this is kind of annoying. Um, so I'm going to say 15W49B is unplayable, as 49A was. So I'm going back to uh, 47C, which is the last version that seems to have worked. But let me show you something real quick. Since we haven't been going that long and <sighs> so of course I haven't built anything like a you know nice looking base or any large builds other than the farms so um, I've had this idea in mind for building a base and I want to do it on the on the uh, the LAN party server for real but I figure I don't do a lot of building and I'm not particularly good at it so maybe this will be an opportunity to try my hand at a little bit of design so this is kind of what I'm thinking a little bit of it's kind of like the um, a little bit kind of like the Monsanto House of the Future from Disneyland Tomorrowland. Um, but a little bit just kind of a space age looking house. The materials I'm kind of working on, I've got a mix of quartz and iron block here, which is exceptionally expensive. But I was trying a few things. They are in rings as I was building out to see sizes. Still not entirely happy with the overall size of it. I'm using... Um, 
these end rods have kind of a neat thing when you stack them like this they kind of make these two long things with little connectors uh, so I'm using that as lighting for this and of course these sea lanterns which I haven't conquered that sea uh, that ocean monument yet and maybe I need to do that but the cyan glass cyan glass is kind of awesome it goes with everything and it goes with the purple pretty nicely I think it's a good mix I tried lots of different different blocks here the whole floor is half slapped so lighting levels in here don't matter too much but I'm doing like using the end rods kind of like a neon light I think it looks kind of cool and then using it a little in the stands here in the corners and the lighting in here is really just to get a sense of you know so you can see uh, because if we go and do this pop you still want to be able to see and a little bit of contrast is okay but uh, oh let's put the Sun down altogether let's go to nighttime so anyway so that's kind of cool I think I actually want to build it larger than this so I want to be able to subdivide it and put different rooms and I'm do it's all this is all on twos which is a little inconvenient uh, from a design standpoint so this is a two by two column up the middle with stairs going around the side kind of works takes up a lot of space in the middle though and putting up room dividers I can't just go and do this you know and build out a room because I've got this post in the middle really the the walls almost need to be too wide coming out of the center which takes up a lot of extra space so I don't know I'm still working on it. I'm not this isn't my forte exactly but it's something I'd like to get better at so anyway oops boop morning uh, anyway and yeah so I'd like to I'd like to essentially move into a space more like this and have an area like a little quadrant that's storage and a little place where the bed is you know my little bedroom a little chanting setup a little brewing setup you know just the usual right now we're cramped in our little hobbit hole and it works but I think we could do better and it'll give me a, a chance to do a trial run before I do it on the Minecraft LAN party server after we have to update to 1.9 because I, I do like the idea of using the purple -pur blocks because I think they're kind of cool blocks and you get full slabs and stairs and it's a full building set so anyway I've been kind of playing around with that this is obviously creative and I may build another one of these over there that's significantly larger and doesn't do the two by two maybe does it uh, the space up the middle for a beacon beam and then you just circle around a single a single block thing I don't know and I have to redesign this door I've got it so you push a button and it opens both but it's kind of ugly the way it works and from the inside these pressure plates only open up the door the next two they don't uh, open up both of them and there are ways of doing that so anyway um, I haven't been working too much oh this is my Hey, let's see what works with the burp, burp blocks sort of uh, test area. Um, I was doing a lot with this uh, the diorite, this diorite, right? Yeah, um, I like the smooth diorite, but and it works nicely. It's got a good contrast, but it looked a little funny with so much of it up there. So I keep replacing blocks. So anyway, um, I'm gonna wait. At this point until they release either a C snapshot which might happen tomorrow given I'm still having troubles here and I imagine other people are as well or wait until next week so I probably won't do a snapshot tour episode uh, this week they did replace all the sounds and they gave witches their own sounds so there's some cool stuff there but there's not really any other significant changes um, they made some changes the way you know entities interact with uh, with cobwebs and, and stuff like that but and they're still settling out some of that functionality so 
that's uh but you know nothing nothing too significant oh it's getting dark again so that's why there hasn't been too much of this and i haven't been feeling super great so so anyway um that's it so thank you for watching this is uh, our episode number two of minecraft science it's a little less experimental but uh at least if you want to up the amount of, of RAM being allocated to uh, to Minecraft, that's how you do it. Notice in the upper right there, it's now saying it has access to, at the moment, 3,600 megs. Um, most computers these days, certainly computers you're playing games on, have plenty of RAM installed on them because RAM is cheap. So you may as well make sure that Minecraft has the resources it needs. All right, um, thank you very much for watching. And if you enjoyed this or found this helpful, you can hit the like button and uh, let, you let your friends know. And I'll uh, come up with some other things and we'll be back with more Minecraft science and we will uh, do more of the snapshot tour. And as when they decide they're going to release Minecraft, Dinnerbone said it would not be this year, so. It might be early next year. Uh, we'll uh, we'll update the Minecraft LAN party server and and uh, get to building to fixing all of the things that 1.9 breaks and taking advantage of the new blocks and stuff because these end rods are really freaking cool. Yeah, so that's uh, that's it. Um, thank you for watching, and I will see you later. Bye.